All right, here we are, another edition of the Baseball Brunch. Jody Jackson joined by Diamondbacks pitcher Alex Young. And of course, we are brought to you by Wendy's Breakfast, a breakfast so good. You'll want to tell someone about it. Alex, how are you today? I'm good. Thanks for having me. It's good to see you. I haven't had a chance to talk to you in a while. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> so uh, we'll get to spring training a little bit later, but uh, right out of the hopper here, I want to hit you with some news. Our late night news, and it is all about Dak Prescott, because Dak Prescott has signed a four-year deal worth $160 million. Did you hear about this? I did. Okay, I figured you did. And <laughs> 120, I think 126 million guaranteed and uh, 75 million in the first year. And, uh, you know, he had a rough year last year with that ankle injury. He's coming back. There's a picture, uh, a tweet, in fact, from his brother. So um, Cowboys, they're going for that Super Bowl. Here's my question for you, though, because I really want to play off the aspect of just getting that much money, to be honest. And I have to put some qualifiers on this. You can't tell me you're going to give a bunch to charity and you can't tell me you're just going to save it. I'm asking you, if you get that 120 million guaranteed, what is your purchase? Like anything you, you know, what are you going to spend a load of that on? That's what it just, I don't want to say frivolous, but whatever. Yeah. I think if a lot of people knew me, they would know that I would purchase a Portillo's. Really? Yes. Okay. I would. I would. Franchise Portillo's. That'd be the first that, that Yeah, I mean, you know, they have that <laughs> chocolate cake shake, right? Yeah. You so can't. this tells me that you love the burgers, the hot dogs, all that good stuff. Oh, yeah. I do, yeah. Well, and you have the ties to the Chicago area, so. Yeah, so I, I grew up on it, and so, I, I mean, they have it out here, which is a good and bad thing. So that's <laughs> one of the things I've always talk, talked about is that'd be cool to franchise one. Yeah, that I mean, and then you you know owning a restaurant that's a whole other thing. So that's interesting. <laughs> what about just I mean, come on, I mean that's a good choice. I'm not that I put the qualifiers on, and you didn't go that route. So, but like, I guess I would say what else? Maybe like an object. I mean, a restaurant is an object, but I've <laughs> growing up, I loved horses. I've always wanted a Clydesdale. So Ooh. like maybe like a Clydesdale horse or. Um, I don't know, maybe an island or something, something cool like that. Just kind of like peaceful getaway type of thing. I don't know. Those are the those are the things I can think of that are kind of outside the box. Yeah. Oh, man, an island sounds great, right? Yeah. Uh, really nice. But a Clydesdale. So you mean you'd have to have, you'd also have to buy a property probably. Oh, yeah. Keep horses, There's way so. more, yeah, way more involved into it than <laughs> just buying a horse. Very cool. Very cool. That's that's a good one. Um, of course, it reminds me of being at Bush Stadium, right? And all the we yeah. you actually being a baseball player, you get to see those live and up close uh, when you're at the Cardinals game, right? Yeah. No, and I love they usually come here, too. So it's that's pretty true. cool to see them every year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's kind of going off football. Let me ask you, because I don't actually know this. What's who, who's your NFL team? The Bears. OK, that's what I was yeah. going to guess. Yeah. Again, growing up in that area. Um, so we found a shot on Instagram of Nicola wearing a JJ Watt jersey because he's kind of been all the talk here. Uh, Do you know you're laughing? Because, you know, we're excited here in Arizona about yeah. JJ Watt coming here. Yeah. What was that all about? Um, she, uh, yeah, she's got a big crush on JJ. And, <laughs> um, and so whenever she, whenever he got traded, or not traded. Whenever he signed that that deal with Arizona, she's like, "Well, I guess I can uh, be a Cardinals fan now." So, because um, obviously, like the Bears were kind of in the mix on it. I know the Packers were. So, um, <clears throat> I was. I would love if he came to the Bears because then it'd be more of a thing for her to be a Bears fan. But yeah, she loves JJ Watt though. So you're gonna be trying to maybe get out to some Cardinals games. This yeah, that year. would that would be sweet, definitely. <laughs> but this is continuing a pattern of Texas people kind of moving to Arizona. We, there's that Texans theme with those guys being, you know, wanting to change and the Cardinals taking advantage. We talked with Corbin Martin about the Astros guys who are now on your team. And, you know, you going to school at TCU, you have experience there, you have ties to Texas, Dallas. I don't know, what's something better about Arizona than Texas? Uh, you know, what? you know, as you compare, because you've got a lot of guys coming over here. What do you, what are some things you like better about Arizona than Texas? Um, 
I like um, the, there's different cultures. I feel like in Arizona, I feel like it's kind of like everyone migrating, um, kind of bringing in like, you know, there's a bunch of Chicago places like food wise. There's places from California. Um, I think that's it's super diverse. So I think it's really cool. Um, I, I mean, I love Texas. I love where I live. Um, but I think Arizona, it's it's unique. And I think that's why so many people come to, you know, the Scottsdale area, you know, there's plenty to do here. Um, so I think all year round, it's a, it's a f really fun place to live. Um, you know, hiking, golfing, you can, there's plenty of other things to do here. So. Yeah. I, I find it's kind of like easy living, you know, I mean, we, we do have the occasional monsoon and it is yeah. very hot, but like, we don't have to like yeah. where I'm from it's hurricanes in Miami. Then I lived in Buffalo briefly and we know that's yeah. not easy when you have to clean snow off your car. No, It's like easy living for the most part. And this time of year is amazing. Um, what about, okay, so on the other side, though, give me something better about Texas than Arizona. Ooh, um, I love Tex-Mex food. Um, I think te Mexican food here is a little bit different. It's more authentic. I feel like uh, Ari or, uh, Texas, it's more Tex-Mex. Uh, I love barbecue there. Um, I know there's a lot of good barbecue places here, too. Um, just like the atmosphere is a little bit different there. Uh it's more dry heat in Arizona, whereas I love the humidity in Texas, which is weird, but um, I don't know. I just, you know, being there for about almost 10 years now, it's it's been, it's, it's home for me and I just feel comfortable, you know, being there kind of, I'm a big foodie, so I have all my places that I love going to eat. I think you and I need to do maybe like a food show because I, <laughs> I love food and you're talking about food. I would and, be uh... so down, yeah. <laughs> That's why, I, of course, I did the show the other day with Corbin. I had my breakfast Baconator out. I mean, I just, I love it all. And I'm always on the run. So I I, I love going through the Wendy's drive through And I, I just love food in general. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll work on that when we can maybe uh, get into a kitchen somewhere. But uh, yeah, the food, the food in both, there's good in both for sure. Texas and Arizona, we're lucky that way. So you mentioned um, Nicole and you guys met at TCU, I believe, right? Yes, that's correct. So it's so our nuggets of wisdom. We're going to talk horned frogs for a moment. Okay. Uh, you, <laughs> I don't know how much you know about your mascot, but it's a scary looking creature. I mean, that is absolutely <laughs> frightening. If I saw that, I don't know what I would do. Like literally, I... I I'd probably spread. This is horrible. I'm being terrible to horn frogs. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, but the, <laughs> the old mascot. So if you go into like the administration office, the old one is like really scary because I mean mascots back then were like they look creepy. So this one was like super scary, but then they got better. Obviously, it's really cool now. I think it's one of the most uh, most popular one uh, in the U.S. And I think a lot of people don't know that horn frogs are actually spit blood out of their eyes it's like their protection oh my god or like no i didn't know that <laughs> yeah so it's it's pretty cool yeah have you seen one a live one i yes i've seen a live one um and then in the administration office there's one uh that like it's not alive but i guess like each day someone would move it around and so people <laughs> thought it was alive um but yeah i've seen a live one uh you know, they're, they're, I mean, they're out in Texas everywhere like that. So, and I've seen, did it, did it spit blood through no, its eyes no, at you? No. Yeah, no, I didn't see that, but I've seen a video of it and it's, it's really cool in slow motion. I think discovery or national geographic did a thing on it. And I mean, you know more about this than I do, but I, I do know our, my research staff told me that it's named a Pac-Man frog because apparently it eats like whatever it eats anything. Yeah. And I guess there's a bunch of YouTube videos that are just gross about them eating different things. And in the vein of that, and plus now that I know that you love food and stuff and you seem pretty open to things, what's the craziest thing you've ever eaten? <laughs> I we went to I went to Del Frisco's steakhouse with my my buddy for his graduation dinner and we had escargot. And okay. I could not do it to save my life. It was disgusting. chewy, huh? Yeah, I just I'm a big texture person, and like for me, like it just didn't do it. And so, like I, Nicole and I love watching Survivor, 
And I was like, I would love to go on that show. I just couldn't eat some of the stuff they eat, like some of the insects. I think if I got past that, I'd be, I'd be solid. So which that's a big step though. Yeah. Well, props <laughs> to you for trying. Yeah. I always like someone who's willing to try it, but yeah, I, I think I've had, I had those so long ago at a French restaurant and yeah, I, I think it was more like just to kind of yeah. pretend that I was eating it and then boom. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll eat, I like, I like most things. So, um, but I want to get to Nicole because you proposed. So congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate Let's, it. Let's, I believe we have a, a, uh, an Instagram post. Now that looks like a lovely moment. Yeah. Um, where I, is that? I'm Tell me ready. about that. Uh, it's in Asheville, North Carolina. So she's probably gonna be mad at me, but I typed in top engagement places in Asheville and that was the top one. And it was like this mountain area where we lost cell service, like halfway getting up there. And like this, this road is so windy that, I mean, there's numerous times where we were going off the road, but it was super fun. Um, we had a, I had a photographer follow us kind of sneaky cause there were other people up there and there was like a group of like four or five teenagers that after I did it, they started going cheering. And I think that's when she was smiling <laughs> too about it, like trying to hold it together. So, um, Aww, that's yeah, cute. It, was, it was awesome though. It was a, it was a fun trip too. And we got to do all the, you know, touristy things in Asheville and go to the Biltmore state and a bunch of other stuff. So it was definitely, yeah, it's, that's beautiful up there. Um, I guess I'll call you out a little bit here. She had an Instagram post that you had actually proposed uh, a long time before that in a bar. Tell me about that. <laughs> yeah, that was that I wore my um, my TCU uh, World Series ring. I don't know why I had it on or even with me, but you're flexing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, should have won that year, but um it was actually the day that we met too. And so, yeah, we were at a bar and, um, she, yeah, she put it on and like jokingly and, uh, sent it to her parents. And, um, yeah, it was just kind of like a funny inside story that, it, you know, some of us knew about. And, uh, so yeah, she thought it'd be funny to, you know, put it in the, in her Instagram post. So, I mean, what we were learning there is that you knew she was the one on day one. Yeah. Or was that? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's great. So. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Very, um, you know, the romance, you've evolved romantically to go from, you know, the bar to Asheville, <laughs> where, you know, you did the research, you brought the photographer yeah. and everything. And then you've got your your dogs. Tell yeah. me about them. I love them. Uh, they're actually going to be out here tomorrow. So uh, this... I, this guy, so Nicole's actually flying out here um, in about a week and a half, and um, she didn't want to drive out here, and she didn't want to drive the dogs just because it's a hassle with them. And so this this guy offered to fly them in his plane, and so this guy is flying them tomorrow uh, into the Scottsdale Airport. So we're gonna see how that goes. But, wow, this yeah. guy? That's a that's a yeah. Cool this guy. guy <laughs> uh, he he uh, so I put it out on like U ship and. Um, you know, he offered to fly him out there. Um, he lives outside of Houston. He's going to fly up to Fort Worth and, you know, I, I'm going to pay, <clears throat> I'm going to pay him and then he's going to fly him back. So they're only staying out here for a couple weeks. Um, just a little doggy vacation just so they can, uh, hang out out here and, you know, I can see him still and everything like that. So, but that's great. I, I love them. They're awesome. They get to enjoy spring in Arizona. Yeah. yeah they came out now, here when you. Year. They did. How do they do? How do they do when you're, you know, they do okay when you're at the ballpark and they're fine? They're Yeah, Milo, the older one, when, every year when I go to spring training, he knows that it's like time. He always sees the luggage and he's either excited thinking he's going to w going with or he's like, you know, here we go again. So hopefully soon we, we get the whole crew out here where, you know, it's permanent and, um, you know, I'm not leaving them all the time. So. Yeah. And I have to ask because Nicole, she is in the healthcare industry, correct? A nurse. Yeah. And how's she been doing? She's doing better. Um, you know, obviously like every day is different. Um, but I think they have a, they have a handle on things now and, um, you know, it's a lot easier. Uh, I would, I shouldn't say easier. It's, it's easier than it was. So, yeah. um, but it's still definitely difficult, um, you know, mentally, you know, even physically, so, um, you know, it's, it's hard for me not to be there with her. So just by herself. Cause I mean, her mom lives in, 
in Houston and, um, you know, just her by herself there with the dogs. Uh, it gets, it gets hectic. So. Yeah. Well, I didn't want to leave that out because Thank goodness for all of uh, our healthcare workers and, and doctors and, and all the staff support. And so we want to thank Nicole. Shout out to Nicole yeah. for all that she's doing. And we do appreciate it. Um, baseball wise, as we turn to baseball, now on to baseball. Um, yesterday, you had three scoreless innings, three strikeouts. So, um, you know, DVAX fans have come to know since you came on the scene and really uh, filled a role for the DVAX as a starter. And you've been in the pen. You've, you've done a lot for the team um, and the pitching staff. How's it going? How'd you feel yesterday? And what are you working on? What's the 2021 version of Alex Young? Yeah, it's uh, – oh, that's a bad hairstyle right there. Um, <laughs> um, it's It's been good so far. Um, you know, there's some stuff that I tweaked in the offseason. Um, a guy I started working with, uh, Ryan Sullins, who – uh, as a pitching coach out of Texas, and then uh, Taylor Cook, who is our strength coach at a place we work out at APEC. And I work, this is our first year working out there, and it's been awesome, you know, just trying out new things. And, um, you know, I'm trying to translate in that into into pitching. And, um, you know, I've been I've been keeping with it. And, you know, I just I just felt really good yesterday and, you know, trusting my pitches and just kind of keep that trend going right now. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you out there more this spring and in the regular season as there are going to be fans in the stadium. We're excited about that. Hey, Alex, thank you for joining us here on the Baseball Brunch. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. All right.